into my linseed oil and grab the color and away we go so my mountain's going to be low in here so let's uh i'm going to start with a blue sky this is a 20 by 20 so i'm going to have to lay it in there pretty quick to get this painting done uh, i don't want it to be a long video so what i'm going to do is put my sky up here <coughs> i don't use the white in the background underneath this is a dry canvas and it just to me it make the clouds come out much better uh, with the dry canvas i'm gonna put a little gray up in here just a little and now i'm gonna grab some titanium white some white in here in some places. I'm going to grab a little bit of this blue and actually bring it down a little bit. I'm going to actually lay our uh, ground in right now too. So our mountain will be in here, low mountain. Uh, let me grab blend this gray down it's too much gray I'm gonna grab some uh, sap green right now and lay it in here because I know it's gonna all be green down here uh, so let's run some sap green underneath all that color just bring it down don't, you don't have to be perfect with it yet. <clears throat> Just kind of bring some color down. And we're going to have different hills in here with trees and stuff. And they'll appear as we come forward from our mountain. So just lay some sap green in here. And be kind of loose with your brush. Leave some dark spots here and there. It'll probably help you pick out some hills and stuff. Okay, just like that. That's good. We'll probably even have like uh, a hill coming from the sides like this when we're done. But we'll do that here in a second. All right, we got our green laid in. That's good. Sap green. That was just straight sap green out of the tube. I think I put a little blue in there, okay, to lighten it up. I want to do our sky now. What I'm going to do is blend it out real quick. The blue first. Get another paper towel. I just keep using the same brushes. I don't clean them with turpentine while I'm painting. I just wipe them off with the paper towel. Just like that. Alright, let's blend this in. And run some clouds. All right, that'll be my blender brush. Let me get a make sure I'm, I'm moving the camera around. Yep, it's still in focus. All right, I'm going to use a really small half inch uh, chip brush to design some clouds. So I, I'm going to dip it in my linseed oil and push into my titanium white. So my mountain's going to be in here. <clears throat> so let's, let's design some clouds up here. Just like uh, stamp your brush right into the canvas, okay? And these will be the, the tops of clouds, okay? And we're going to pull them down a little bit and blend them in. But just stamp some white up in there. I don't want to do too many because I don't want the uh, video to be so long, so... 
All right, so that's good enough for now. If we need to add more later, we can. So what I'm going to do now is pull this white down a little bit. And then I'm going to blend that in. And hopefully it makes a cool looking cloud. We'll see. You never know. Get a blender brush. I'll lightly blend that in now. Just trying to hit the bottom of the cloud. You can hit the tops of the clouds too if you want to blend them all in. I'm trying, I mean, if you want to blend the top part in, you can. I'm just trying to leave the top uh, whiter so the value stays a little brighter on top. All right, there's some easy way, ways to make clouds right there. <clears throat> now you can take your brush and barely stamp the top parts of your clouds so it leaves that white color on the top, but this will help give it a, a finished edge up there. If you just come in here and lightly stamp at the top, okay? And if you like what you got, you can leave it and we'll move on. Let's see how it looks in the frame. That looks good enough to me. That looks like, it looks like they're natural to me. So I'm going to leave it. We could probably put a small one in there, but do whatever you want to add. Let's move on to the, the mount now. I'm going to use a Payne's Gray right out of the tube. I'm just going to get a little bit on my knife and <clears throat> design a mountain in here. I want it to be low, a low mountain, long, long and low with uh, like a low stealth mountain, more hilly, I guess. I'm just going to put the edge up here and then I'm going to grab a brush and uh, pull the color down now and shape it. This got a little brown on it. That's all right. Just uh, pull your color down now and shape your mountain. I'm going to go pretty quick on this. Underneath we have that color we used in the sky so it's really helping the mountain <clears throat> blend in there okay grab your blender brush and you can finish pulling down the mountain with your blender brush and then lightly go over the whole mountain and blend that in now you can even blend the back and the sides I want that mountain to look further back in the distance. 